I mean, he's going to be amazing. He already is, uh, you know, the size, obviously, like everybody talks. Uh, but, you know, he has the way he moves for seven, five, seven, six. I don't know what is it. Um, he's going to be good. Um, you know, uh, it's still early in the season, obviously. Uh, but, you know, once he figures out where uh, he's going to be getting his shots and uh, reading defenses. Uh, I got a bright future, man. Obviously, he's uh, one of a kind type of player, and uh, he's going to keep getting better each and every year. And, uh, just unfortunately not we won a game, so. Victor Wembanyama has been the main talk of the NBA for several months now. Ever since he got drafted with the number one pick by the San Antonio Spurs, videos of him have been going public, as the media has been following him with everything he is doing. First, he dominated in the summer league, then the preseason, so everyone was waiting for his real NBA debut to come. As the season started, Wemby opened it up with a really hot start. He has been averaging just below 20 points per game, but has also added 8.6 rebounds tied for fifth in the league and also 2.6 blocks. His shooting percentages are a bit down, but that is to be expected from an international rookie. With all of the buzz around Wemby, let's see what his peers from the NBA have had to say after witnessing his performances. The Greek freak has been one of the best players in the NBA for the last half a decade now. The Bucks player, an international player himself, who is also a freakish athlete with an imposing stature, has been really impressed with how Victor has been able to manifest his skill set with a frame as big as his. The Greek freak considers that to be extremely impressive, especially for someone at such an early age. When this kid comes, get ready. If you're not ready, this kid is going to be a problem. I've never seen this before in my life. I saw him up close. He was on the same team as my brother. He's taller than Rudy, but he can block shots like Rudy and shoot like KD. And he has a good attitude. He is not just a tall guy. He has skills. If he stays healthy, he's going to be really good. These are some highly praised words from one of the best international players to ever do it. Kevin Durant is a guy who wants to give motivation to the young and up-and-coming NBA players. Durant is the one who dubbed Chris Stapps a unicorn when everyone else considered him as a bust. And even with Chris Stapps' up-and-down NBA career, that description was fairly spot-on. However, Wemby is far more polished than he was when he entered the league, and his fellow players already see that. He's different, said Kevin Durant, after his sons lost against Wemby and the Spurs last week. He's long, athletic, mobile. He can shoot it. He's got skills. He's tough. Wemby had probably one of his best game of the season against the Suns when he dropped 38 points and 10 rebounds and secured the win for the Spurs. After dropping those 38 points against the Suns, Devin Booker, one of the key players for Phoenix, couldn't help but express his admiration for Wemby during the post-game press conference, recognizing the French talent's extraordinary abilities on the court. Despite the Suns' efforts, Booker acknowledged the need to strategize and adapt to Victor's playing style, expressing a desire to make necessary adjustments in their approach when they face the Spurs in future encounters. He's an unbelievable talent. I think everybody knows that. Just trying to figure out what he is because we've never seen him before. We got him early in the season. Hopefully next time we play him, we can make some adjustments to make it tougher on him. He has an advantage, being 7-4, and being able to shoot over everybody, so just finding different ways to make it tough on him, but he had a great night today. If you remember, Paul George was one of the people that were critical of the hype surrounding Victor in the wake of him being drafted with the number one pick in June's NBA draft. However, George is now backtracking a bit on his previous criticism after seeing how easy Wemby has made things look in NBA action so far. I take back everything I said. And I knew he was going to be successful in the league, but I thought it was going to be tougher than what he's making it look like right now. He euro-stepped without taking a dribble from the free-throw line, flushed it. No one's stopping that. Some of the stuff he is doing, I mean, he threw it to the wing, called for the lob at the three-point line, knowing nobody else can go get that, and dunked it. This goes back to Draymond's point. Worst case, he's going to be one of the best shot blockers. A lot of times I put myself in other players' shoes like, all right, what would I have done right there? And a lot of those possessions, it's like, damn, when I get to the paint, like, I'm going to have to look. Like, he's contesting, like, I might beat my guy and he's going to get pulled in. I might think he's way on the three-point line, but like his wingspan, he's still covering me. It's going to be different. Paul George's teammate, Clippers guard Russell Westbrook, was also asked about Wemby and said, you know, he's one of a kind. As we all know, he's going to get better each and every year during the season, and as long as he keeps focused and keeps improving his game, he's going to be fine. 
Russ was also asked about Victor's length. Westbrook added, He wasn't on me much, but you know it's there. That's all you need to know. The game against the Clippers in downtown Los Angeles did not just mark Wemby's first road game. It was also Victor's first head-to-head -head meeting with San Antonio's previous homegrown franchise player, Kawhi Leonard. There weren't many instances of Leonard and Wemby facing each other. Leonard was guarded mostly by Spurs point guard Jeremy, while Victor was taken on by Robert Covington. But there was the first play of the game, when Leonard switched on to Victor and helped Paul George get the first of his five steals, displaying the kind of physicality the Clippers deployed on the 210-pound rookie all night. The buzz of Wemby's first road game ultimately got shut down by the second quarter as the Clippers went up by 21 points. Victor ended the game with only 11 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 5 turnovers. But Wemby's first game against Leonard left an impression on the five-time All-Star. I mean, pretty much what everybody sees, you know? Leonard said when asked about Wembenyama being the face of a franchise that he is familiar with. His wingspan is crazy, he can dribble the basketball, he can shoot, he also wants to defend. And that's what you need from a franchise player. It's his third game of the season, so I feel like he will continue to get better once he figures out defenses, the way people are guarding him. He's just going to get more and more confident. That is high praise from Leonard. The Spurs drafting Wemby is special not just because of the talent Victor possesses, but also because of Wemby's appreciation for the Spurs' history and culture, including Leonard himself. In the game between the Raptors and Spurs, it was all about the youngsters. Victor had 20 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 blocked shots, while the third-year Raptors star Scotty Barnes dominated down the stretch, scoring 19 of his 30 points in the fourth quarter as Toronto stunned Wembenyama and the Spurs who still led by 25 minutes into the third quarter. After the game, Scotty left his impressions from the first matchup with Wembenyama just super unique, never seen anyone that tall in life. So, yeah, he's just really tall, covers a lot of ground. Every time you're by the rim, you just have to really watch out for him, see where he's out on the floor, because you know he's coming to try to block your shot. So just try to be aware of where he's at on the floor. While Wemby has been doing a great job so far in the NBA, there are of course going to be haters and doubters about him, some of them even being NBA players themselves. When that is the case, there is no other guy that comes first to mind than the NBA's villain himself, Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks is not impressed by Victor, and he lets everyone know that. It didn't take long for Victor to show why he is one of the most hyped-up prospects ever. One of the games where he made that statement for him was in a preseason game against the Rockets, where he scored 15 points grabbed six rebounds, and blocked two shots in only 21 minutes of action. However, Brooks wasn't impressed at all, and after the game shared his thoughts with the reporters, he's tall, that's really it. While the matchup between the Mavericks and Spurs featured an arena that was packed beyond its official capacity and filled with hype surrounding Victor Wembanyama's NBA debut, it was Luka Doncic who stole the show. But even after a Mavs victory and 33-point triple-double, the 24-year-old Dallas star had nothing but the highest regard for his French counterpart. He's going to be amazing. He already is. The size, obviously, like everybody talks, he moves incredibly. He moves like a point guard, almost. It's pretty amazing to see. Like Grant Williams said, he's going to have a great future, and he's going to be amazing to watch. While we are still early into the season, Victor still has a lot of NBA stars that he is yet to face. One of the most anticipated matchups may as well be against another international superstar, current NBA champion, and finals MVP, Nikola Jokic, who is also one of Victor's favorite players to watch. During an episode of the Old Man and the Three podcast, San Antonio Spurs star Victor Wembanyama joined the show to talk about a multitude of topics. During the episode, Wembanyama was asked which NBA players he has been watching the most. In the playoffs, I really loved watching Jokic. He later added, The game is so different in Europe. In most leagues, if you play one-on-one -on -one all game, you may score 25 points, but you are also going to have seven turnovers and lose the game. As I have almost always been the youngest player, I had to share the ball to be truly important to the team. But I believe that the way to become the best player on the best team is not only to score 30 points, but to make your teammates better. No wonder he enjoys watching the Joker the most. While the Spurs still have a ways to go before they have a contending roster around Wembenyama, his addition should expedite their pursuit of winning players. 
The French sensation's dominance in the game highlighted his towering presence and exceptional scoring ability, earning praise from both fans and established NBA stars. As Wembenyama continues to make waves in his rookie season, his remarkable performance against formidable opponents solidifies his position as a rising star to watch in the NBA.